speaking of uh, of us transported in this new world, in this new countries, new universes, so to speak, retailers, fashion industry, entertainment, kind of jumping on it first, gaming for sure. Where is this connect uh, connectedness between industries, between more conservative part of the of the economy, insurance, banking, uh, telecom, comparing to entertainment, comparing to things retail, where we like to look at ourselves and just to look at the products and sort of uh, Im imagining ourselves in these new rooms and in this new environment. So how do we connect those two worlds, you think? Yeah, it's, I wouldn't even say it's the old and the new world. It's just that gaming is very far advanced. So every experience we see in gaming, it's more about now the storytelling, the immersiveness, and what is very, very important is the connection. And we are sometimes a bit annoyed with children and maybe also surprised how much time they spend in games. But if you look at it, it's not about the gaming per se, it's about this connection. In particular, due to COVID, we all know we went more online, but not only that, in that connection, you can communicate completely different. And that is sometimes very underestimated. So if we think about experiences rather than all the technology, like also Apple has always done, Steve Jobs' uh, favorite and my famous quote of him is uh, that he says, you have to start with the experiences and then work backwards to the technology. So from an experience point of view, you, you mentioned fashion. The one who is really the most advanced is Nike. Nike has been very, very much testing the water in different fields. So the first they have done is in their shop, they also have a virtual experience. So you can engage with your counterpart and can do things there in half virtual, half also real world. So you have a real connect between what you do here and then your avatar maybe is doing that or you can exercise and you can do things like, anyway, what we know already today, flight simulation is also all in a virtual world. It's not such a strange concept. It's just, if we call it metaverse and it's not the metaverse, but it's one of the experiences there. So this is what Nike has sort of started with in the, uh, this connection from rural to virtual. And then also last year, they went into Nike Roblox, Nikeverse. So Roblox, they used as a platform. Roblox is not one game. Also, people misunderstand it. Roblox really allows gamers to experience. And even a 12-year-old can develop something. He can have a birthday party there online with all his friends. I have heard a very sad story that someone, even a 12-year-old, uh, buried his dog in the metaverse virtually so he really wanted to say goodbye and wanted to go to a place so there are all kind of possibilities and you see that it's about the community it's about the connection it's about what is very important to the soul of a human being and Nike has tried this I mean they're doing a lot of different things and it was very successful they had already after three four months seven million people who were actually in their Nike verse and then the peak of what they have done so far is really their strategic partnership with RFTK. And what is the real special thing about it? That they have partnered with someone who is um, a real native, you can say, a native in Web3 technology. So if you think about the metaverse as the experiences and about the technology which follows the experience, then you have Web3 underlying the metaverse in big terms sometimes also that gets confused and what they also were famous for and are still famous for is virtual sneakers and nike again has converted that that some of the sneakers you can also through a non-fungible token you can also get in the real world and the latest greatest they have done when we were children i think we were all thinking of i want to have wings you might remember that. Also, the old are maybe thinking of, I want to have wings kind of thing. Uh, and what they did now, they have really giving you wings. So it's not like Red Bull giving you wings, but what they have done is um, also through an NFT without any details. They You can have a hoodie, a real life hoodie of Nike. Uh, and this will come out in September. And you cannot only use these wings in the virtual world, but these wings will come onto your real hoodie as augmented reality. So this is really beautiful. Uh, you can say, uh, what's the use of it? But this is also part of the creative 
story they do and it's all about connecting their community and also it's partially fun but it's also what nike is trying to do give people a chance to explore to create and they are very strong in health because they are also very related to health so health is another different universe but how they do that they do that in a very playful manner because obviously they're also trying to incentivize the younger generation to come to them and to live with them.